Hey guys, this is Raghav Nakra and today we will be discussing the question pick from both sides which is a part of array section from the interview bit and let's just first see the problem statements. So what the problem says is that you will be given an integer array which is named as A and that will be of size N and we can choose B elements either from the left or right end of the array. And by choosing these element, we need to tell what is the maximum possible sum we can get by choosing optimally either from left or right end of the array. So to clearly understand the problem statement, we can just have a look at the examples. So what the first example says is that the array given to us will be 5, minus 2, 3, 1 and 2 and the B which is the number of elements we can choose at max is 3. Not at max, but we definitely have to choose just three elements either from left or right. So we can clearly see that here the answer would be eight because we can choose five from the left side and one and two from the right side of the array, making a total of eight. Similarly, for the second input, we have one and two as the array, as the elements of the array and we have B equal to one. So we can simply choose B from the right end of the array, making a total of 2 and hence we can have the maximum sum as 2. So I hope the problem statement and example are clear. One important thing to note here is that b is always between 1 to n. This means that we don't have to unnecessarily check that whether b is going out of bounds or any other condition like that. It is already given in the question that b will be within the bounds of the size of array so we don't need to take extra caution due to this condition so now let's just move to the solution approach so for a solution approach what we can see is that n here is 9 and let's say we have b equal to 4 so now for our solution approach what we can do is we can simply select four elements from the left end of the array and see what is the maximum sum we can make from these four elements but now since we have to check all the possibilities what one thing we can do is we can just remove the last element from these four elements and take one element from the very end of the array. By doing this we will have three elements from the left and one element from the right. And by doing this what we have is we have another condition that we can check and we can know whether this is a better candidate for getting the maximum sum or not. Similarly, we can again remove the last element from the four elements which we chose from the left side and take the second last element from the array that is from the right end. And in this case, we will have two elements from the right and two elements from the left side of the array. And this can be another possible candidate for a maximum sum condition. Now, similarly, we can do it for the other two thing, other two cases that is we can remove the third last element from the four selected left elements and take the third last element from the right side of the array. Similarly, we can just remove the element from the left part of the array and add one more element to the right side. And now we have zero elements on the left side and we have four elements on the right side. And hence by doing this, we can cover all the cases by all the cases. I mean that if we have left and right on this side, we have 4 from left, 0 from right, 3 from left, 1 from right, 2 from left and 2 from right, 1 from left, 3 from right and 0 from left and 4 from right. All these 4, all these 5 cases have been covered by doing this simple thing and among all these possible scenarios we can just uh, compare it with our maximum sum variable and we can keep on storing what could what is the maximum sum so far we have achieved and I guess this is pretty simple approach and it's quite efficient also the space complexity for this solution is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space nor an array we are just simply storing it in a variable and the time complexity for this is O of 10 because we are simply traversing through the array once and checking what is the maximum sum so far we have achieved. So let's just move on to the code and see what the code of this looks like. Okay, so for the code what I did was first I stored n as the size of the array and I initialized a current sum variable where I stored the sum of first b elements of the array 
you can see that I am looping from 0 to B and I am so storing the sum of first B elements in the current sum. Initially, I am initializing the maximum sum as the current sum which we have achieved so far by taking the leftmost B elements. Now, I am taking two variables which is include and exclude. INC is used for include and EXC is used for exclude. So, I am now looping from in the while loop till the time include is greater than equal to zero and exclude is greater than equal to zero. So what I am doing is firstly I am adding the pointer which is currently pointing to the include variable which would be right here that is to the very end of the array and I will remove the element which is at the rightmost position in the first B leftmost elements which is this element. So now firstly I will just include this element and exclude this one then in the next position in the next iteration my inc would move to one left and similarly my exc that is the exclude pointer would also move one left then i will add this to my current sum and exclude this element and this i will do b number of times because for sure after b number of times my exclude pointer will reach to minus one that is out of bounds of the array and hence it would be negative and i'll come out of the while loop and by doing this I am always maintaining what could be the maximum sum I can make so far and by keeping a count of this that what what is the maximum sum I have achieved in every iteration I can ret return the maximum sum in the end and this was the code of the solution and I hope that you understood how the code goes and what is the solution approach and see you in the next solution.